Thank you. Be seated. Mr. Brooks, under 906.11, I do have the authority and just my inherent authority over this case to um, require you to call the next available witness. Um, you, in my opinion, were not entirely cooperative yesterday with the process, and so I told you um, that uh, three witnesses would come in at 8.30, two would come in at 10.30, two would come in at 1.30, two would come in at 3.30, and then if there were any left, what I wasn't sure if there were or not, uh, would come in at 4. You also didn't provide me with that with that list. Uh, you were advised on the record, but sir. You, didn't, you didn't you didn't provide it to me, sir. You chose not to write down, so that's on you, not me. No, nah, that's so. No, you here's can't. The that's thing. a rush to Erica Patterson is here, so I'm advising you that she will be the next witness that you call if you so choose. If you choose not to call her right now, then I'm releasing her from the subpoena, because we have almost 45 minutes until 10:30, just sl slightly under that. And there's no reason for you not to call her. Yeah, She's on your list. She was on the, the, the listing, as I understand it, the groupings of three, Tuesday that morning, you understand Tuesday it. afternoon, you Wednesday morning, it? Wednesday afternoon, and so on and so forth. That's the order. I told you very specifically I'm not going to have everyone come in at one time because uh, that's not efficient, that's not effective, and it's not courteous to them. Um, people have families, people have jobs and other responsibilities, and we're trying to be mindful of all of that as well while having the state assist you in getting these people here. Um, so I'm advising you that if you don't call her right now, you will forfeit your right to call her. Is that lawful law? Sir, I believe I have the authority to do that. She's here. She's ready to I'm, go. I'm just She's asking your witness. I'm just asking the question. Is that lawful law? I have the authority under 90611 and other uh, rules and the inherent authority of this court to control the order and mode of interrogation Your Honor, of witnesses. Why is it always so hard to just say yes or no? Yes, is it lawful law? I have law? the authority, sir. I'm not disputing that. You just I'm not disputing. That. No, I said, I asked the question, is it lawful law? Sir, I've told you what I believe my authority is. Okay, you, told you don't want to you, recognize it, that's you fine. You want to object and note it, that's you told fine. Me your authority. I'm not, I'm not debating your authority. I'm not. So, what it, so I will address one other issue with you because you said you had an issue regarding the last witness, which is fine. We can address that quickly, and then I'm going to have the jury brought in, and um, that will be your opportunity to that's, call that's a misdirect. That's a misdirect. What issue did I say I had with the You last? said you wanted to raise said, an issue with detect, about Detective Guzman's testimony. What I Guzman's said was testimony. I might have more, more questions for that witness. I didn't say it was an issue. Oh, I didn't hear that, sir. You, you had your opportunity <coughs> to ask the witness questions. He's been released. Your Honor. If I mumble something under my breath, somehow that's audible, but when I talk clearly, somehow nobody hears me. I may have missed me. it, but I, I heard, what I interpreted was when you said I may have an, an issue with this witness, I, I didn't understand. I guess I didn't take that as you were going to reserve your right to recall him. What would, so, are you telling me you'd like to reserve your right to recall Detective Guth? Yes. All right. Then that will be noted, and we'll keep him under the subpoena. Now, that should address that. I'll have the jury brought back in, and you should be prepared if you choose to call Ms. Patterson. This is your opportunity to do it. <coughs> At the same time, though, that's still a rush to judgment, Your Honor. You can't, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be forced to call people in the order that I'm being told to when these are my witnesses, my you would, subpoenas. You did not want to provide us with the order, and I respected that, but Mr. Brooks. I, but I said that And the so then I, then I asked your you Honor, to put with him all in respect, blocks. With all respect, did I, did I not inform Your Honor and the court that I would not give a specific order? I, I stated that numerous times. And Mr. Brooks, numerous I times. have authority to tell you otherwise. 
You I may did. not like it. You may I disagree did. with it's, it. It's not, it's not about that. Been, it's about the rest of the judgment. You have not been cooperating with this process. The there, state there's has nothing to cooperate with. agreed to assist you given your custodial status. Okay, and that's and that, and, I never and asked frankly, them to do any that. Any attorney in this situation, I never asked them to do that, Your Honor. Would give us the order. Did I or did I not? Did I ask them to do that? I did not ask them to do that. They no, volunteered. They, they, they offered. So at the end but, of the day, but we expect if your they didn't want to do it, yeah, but that that wasn't one of the stipulations when they offered to do it, Your Honor. Let's let's be. Let's, no, common courtesy is the stipulation. Okay, sir. but it and, wasn't and stipulated too, so I, I didn't have. You are well advised of how this process was going to go. No, I was not. It is because normal if you, in, a, in a trial, you can't to put call the people. You can't put the people in a specific on spot for me, Your Honor. Come on now. It is. That's a rush to judgment. There's no rush to judgment here. You did the state? Did the state that, have sir, to put their the witnesses? Case. Your Honor, with all with all due respect, did the state have to put their witnesses in order and tell me? It's irrelevant what the state did. Did, in did that they regard. have to do that? They didn't need your assistance to do that. Did they have to do it? No, they did. not I don't have, have to, to be provided it. with. We're going to call this witness at this time. But they're this able witness at this to time. contact their they didn't witnesses have to do that, so why should I have and to do accommodate that? their schedules. This is not about you. It's not about the state. It's about the witnesses. It's about what's fair. It's about what's fair. No, frankly, sir, it's about you trying to control what's happening in this court. How? How? How am I controlling what's happening? I'm the one shackled to the table with, so a, uh, here's the with a shock device on my uh, ankles. So how is I'm trying to control anything? I'm I just the, want this I'm to be fair, to and it hasn't been fair. Mr. Brooks, it's fair. No, it's not. If you, I have to do something that they don't have to do, how's that fair? It's fair. Explain to me how that's the fair. The process that it has been set up to, frankly, help you. Get no, it's, it's not helping me by it's helping court. it's helping the state and, no, by being able to say if we know the time and we know the person not, and we know this, you, then we can be prepared. So we'll already be ready. Mr. Brooks, that was I the whole aim of that. And I would have had her come in later. You didn't want to answer that question. There was no and question. I, to, it was no question to answer. Uh, I did. I did what you asked me to do, Your Honor. You no, said, you yes, you did. You okay. did. You asked me to give them my witness Mr. list. Brooks, yesterday, I gave them my witness list. Yesterday, it's not, it's not my fault. Very it's not my fault. They weren't going to be prepared. Mr. To Brooks, do their, here's the deal. Do the jury's cross. coming out, and I'm I'm gonna stand my ground on this. I'm gonna it, stand my ground is, too, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be disrespectful her, or disruptive. If you I'm just stating I want it to be fair. When the jury comes back out, I'm releasing her from the subpoena. You can't do that. Law, where's the lawful law? Where's the lawful law? I have the right to you witnesses. You have to cooperate with this process. But I sir. also have the right. The six member well, right. We have a witness available for you to call. I can require it's you not to the call witness that right should have been called at this time, Your Honor. It is based on the list that you provided and, and that didn't have order. a time that didn't have a time or of I'm not you know, or play order. This game with you, sir. It's not no game. That's was, what you don't seem to understand. To I believe that fully. I don't care what you believe fully. All right. It's not a game. We I don't take I this as a game. You. That's what that's what nobody that's what nobody again. you don't gotta explain nothing to me. Do you want That's to, what you don't understand. You think you that this is a whole game to, to me. Question? This is not a game to me, Your Honor. Not, nothing about this is a joke. I never That's what y'all don't joke. understand. But there's and it's unfair. It's unfair on. and it's disrespectful to me that you think I would come in here purposely and treat this like a joke or a game. I never said it was a what joke. Type, what, type, what, type of, what type of statement is that? Mr. Your life is not on the line. Mine is. And you think that I, I think this is funny? I don't think it's funny whatsoever. So, I so I think, Your Honor, with all due respect, I think you so should show some respect. So we're going to take a five-minute break, and when we come back, the jury's coming out, and you need to call your next witness. Thank you. We are in recess. No, nah, you, you're not rushing me to judgment. I don't care what you're talking about.